Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a makeup tutorial slash full face of Essence Cosmetics product. So guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I feel like it kind of did go a little bit south because everything is just not working for me and yeah. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoy this video and if you would like to see how I created this look that I'm wearing right over here, then keep on watching this video. Don't forget to like this video if you do enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me and yeah let's just jump straight into this tutorial so starting out with this video we're just going to be popping a few texas <laughs> because my allergies are doing the most really i'm struggling with life is there any me that struggles to swallow pills really badly? Anything. I just can't swallow pills. It's just not my strong suit at all. Okay, so for today's look, we're doing a full face of Essence. There's just one product that I forgot to buy, and it was bronzer. I can't believe I forgot about bronzer, but I do know in the past I have used an Essence bronzer, and I used that big um, round Essence Sun Club bronzer and that was amazing i used the one for darker skin and it really is super pretty and super natural and it's just it's gorgeous i love it so i can't believe i forgot to go buy that because the one that i had totally ran out bear in mind a lot of these products i really own so it's not first impressions on all of them only on some of them so i'm just letting you know that like this eyebrow thing i already own and there's quite a few other eyebrow products that i do already own but we are doing a full face face and it's not a first impressions but some things i will give my opinion on like this foundation over here definitely going to give my opinion on that because everyone is obviously like wondering about it because it was like a big rave about it at a stage so i'm gonna give my impressions on that foundation and then on the other things i think you've seen me use it's a few things that i did go buy but i'll let you guys know when i'm using them so starting out we're gonna start with our eyebrows so i've got this essence eyebrow styling set and i've got the one oh one natural brunette style so it just looks like this so this um, little kit over here, it comes with a little brush like this and then it also comes with a couple of these eyebrow stencil things but I don't use these because they just don't suit my brow shape. So I'm going to be using the brush in this little kit just to show that the brush does work and it does do the job but obviously I would usually with a powder go in with like a much bigger angled brush just to speed up the process but for the sake of this video I'm going to be using all the brushes and stuff that come with the items. So I'm going to start by brushing them upwards, the huge, and then I'm just going to go in and fill them in. So that is how I'm going to fill in my brow and I'm just going to fill in the other one and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that's eyebrows done. One thing I like to always do is I always make sure I put this brush back into this little kit so that when I pack it away and if I by any chance forget to take like a brush with me that I do have the brush that comes with it because it does work. Like I mean I use it for both of my brows. It takes a lot longer than a bigger brush like this but it definitely does the job if you're really desperate for like brows and you forgot a brush so honestly i use this actually on the daily it's one of my favorite eyebrow products especially powder wise and one tip i just want to give you when you're using an eyebrow powder is i always add my moisturizer over my brows before i add a powder so that it just sticks more because i feel like sometimes it tends to just like kind of slide away or fade away throughout the day and i feel like if i add my moisturizer and then i put the powder on top of that it kind of just sticks because then it kind of like soaks into my skin i don't know that's just what i experience and i feel like it does last a lot longer when i do it like this so that's just why i carry on doing it like this that's just a tip for me take it or leave it <laughs> for concealer i went and got an essence concealer i do want to show you an essence concealer that i have tried before but for the sake of this video i wanted to try something new that i haven't tried before this is a concealer that i have tried by essence before it's the camouflage full coverage concealer i know the packaging has changed since this one has been released like it's more rounded and it's black now the lid is black but i have tried this and i did like it as you can tell it's like it's really finished and then another concealer that i did try but this was just for like covering my spots is this essence pure skin stick which is like anti spot cover stick and the one i got for today is this essence stay natural concealer i already twisted it out just to see if the color was correct so that i could go buy another color if it wasn't because you can't really see the colors and there's no testers on these so i think it should be fine it looks a little bit darker but i did get a darker foundation because i did tan let's just jump into putting concealer on the lids and then we can get started with eyeshadow so i'm just going to take this concealer i think i'm going to twist it up one small and then I'm just gonna put this all over my lids. I like this because I can use it to carve out my brows which is awesome it's like the LA girl. 
feel like it is a tad bit dark, but I feel like we can work with it. So I'm not gonna worry. I'm just gonna twist it up again for the other side. It's drying very dark on my lids. One thing I've always found with Essence products is they do tend to oxidize. So it comes up lighter and then it just goes so much darker. But I do like the formula of the concealer. I just don't think it's gonna work for my eyelids right now. But we're gonna go with it anyways. Can you see that? I actually need to zoom in. Can you see how it's dark here and then where it's still wet, it's like light. That's so weird. That is so crazy. Luckily, I did go get a powder that is super light. So maybe this will just like lighten it a bit because it's crazy at this moment. So this is the powder that I went and got. It is the Essence Mattifying Compact Powder and I got it in 11 Pastel Beige. It's like this super light yellow compact powder. I do really like the way this looks. I'm hoping that this is going to lighten what's going on in my lids right now because I feel like it's getting darker by the second. So I'm just going to grab this on like a fluffy brush like this and I'm going to put this all over my lid. Okay, I'm really not a fan of this concealer. I'm so sorry. This concealer is just not doing it for me. It's drying. I can't see it on camera, but it's like drying pink. Bro, I don't know what's happening. I wonder what this is going to look like under my eyes over the foundation. Yeah, this powder is not whitening it at all. It's just setting it. Okay, so for eyeshadow today, we are going to go in with this Essence nude eyeshadow palettes. I wanted to get one of those new ones that had like the city names like the Rio and then the, like the Sydney one but like I just really didn't like the color combos that they were offering in the palette and they also looked a bit um chalky so I didn't bother with those so I went to get this one rather because it's got like these really pretty shimmery shades all the way along the bottom and then these new shades along the top. I'm gonna start out with this nude shade in the middle over here and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. There's a lot of fallout so that's usually a good sign that there's pigment let's hope. Okay it's lightening it a bit <laughs> it's really creamy as well. Wow. I wanted to do buy brushes as well for this video, but my freaking essence stand is so useless. Like they literally only had the eyeshadow brushes that I already have, and then they only had like a flat concealer brush. And I was just like, I'm not gonna buy a flat concealer brush. Like it's really not worth my time because I've got so many of them like this. And it was basically just like this that looked like essence. I never bothered with buying the brushes, but I do have a couple of brushes that I would like to say are absolutely amazing. I've got four of them, and then I've got another brush that. I received in the Essence PR package quite a while ago. So the eyeshadow brushes are these four over here. These brushes are really awesome. I do recommend them and they are like 32 rand or 31 rand or 35 rand around that area. It's really cheap for one brush and they do last really long. And I'm going to be grabbing the brown shade over here. There's a lot of fallout. Can you see that? Okay, so the concealer has dried so dark, you can literally not even see this brown shade. Okay, like there it is on my hand. It kind of does blend to nothing. This is my thing with Essence palettes. Like I have found in the past when I try to use one of those old nude bar thingies that they used to sell, that it just didn't, like there's no pigment. Like I feel like their shimmery shades are good, but they just really need to work on their matte shades. I don't know. Like it's a really stunning palette and I just wish it worked. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the same brush and I'm going to dip into this grayish brown nude shade over here. Uh, negative. Why am I struggling so much to get pigment here? I feel like it's not even doing anything. Does it look like it's doing anything on camera? I don't know. I love all Essence like products as a whole, but like I just feel like eyeshadows, they just don't work. I'm so sorry. Like it's just not their forte. But skin products and like brows and everything like that is really good. They have really good nail polishes. It's a good brand. Just I like, don't think their eyeshadows, they need work. They really need work. I think I'm just going to go straight into a shimmery shade. So I'm going to grab this copper red shade and I'm going to take it on my finger to give it the benefit of the doubt. Comes with super pigmented. I'm just going to put the all over my lid this looks so bad oh my gosh this looks terrible I'm gonna just try and add all of these on top of my what's happening here and try and see if it just makes a difference because it just really isn't working for me now I'm just gonna go in with the brown black shade over here. I'm literally just gonna take the same brush Look how much ball out there is like you just tap into it and it just starts pouring Okay, tiny bit of pigment. Okay, there's something going on here now. I'm gonna pack it on. And by the way, um, all of these products I have purchased myself. All of the ones that I have owned previously, I've purchased myself. There's only like two products that I think I've received from Essence. So bear in mind, my opinions are raw and real because girl, I spent my hard earned cash on this. This palette, honestly, it's not worth it. Like it, there's so much fallout and there's just no pigment. Like I just don't understand. The only shades that had pigment were the shimmery shades and then this dark shade over here. So honestly, I do not think that this palette's worth it. I probably won't use it again. 
again i'll probably give it to someone i don't know i wouldn't recommend it like i would rather go spend more money on something that works so i've got these two eyeliners from essence i've got this liquid ink eyeliner waterproof liquid liner and then i've got this eyeliner pen that is also waterproof so this one is like a felt tip like this and then this one is just like a liner like that i think i'm gonna go for this one over here this liquid ink um eyeliner because i feel like it's a lot easier to use i'm not really a fan of felt tips like i don't use this anymore at all and a quick tip i just want to give you on getting the perfect winged eyeliner buy yourself glosses like this and then what you do is you take your brush you wipe the product on you and then basically what you're gonna do you're gonna stamp it on your eye so it makes the perfect line like that and then i take the brush and i'm just gonna fill it in I prefer just doing winged liner like this because it honestly it speeds up the process and it just saves me the effort of maybe making it uneven. So that's my first wing done and I'm just going to do the other one. Okay so that's my wings done. Um, I do like this. I feel like this does tend to peel throughout the day so that's why I don't really use it much but it is really nice and it does last fairly long just not super super long. I'm just going to be adding some lashes and I'll be right back. For mascara I'm just going to be adding um, the Essence Super Cool Mascara. I have mentioned this before and you guys do know that I do like it so I'm just going to put this on my lashes. Now for the interesting part, the foundation. But first I'm going to be using the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. I'm going to put this all over my face. It's a super hydrating primer and I'm just going to put a lot on because this is a strong matte effect. Oh, and the eyeliner and the mascara I do really like. Now we're going to go in with the foundation. So this is the Essence Insta Perfect Strong Matte Foundation. And it is waterproof and it's buildable. So I got the shade 60 because I felt like 50 was a little bit too light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if this blends better with a foundation brush or a beauty sponge. So this half will be a brush and this half will be a sponge. So I'm first going to start with the brush side. And I think the shade that I got is really nice. I'm not sure. It looks like it's been over opened already and tested so I don't know I've totally forgot to check when used already so I'm just gonna dot this all over my face it's got a very nice color okay so it does seem to match my skin quite well and now I'm just gonna take a fluffy kabuki brush like this and I'm just gonna blend this out it smells like any other essence foundation like if you've used the fresh and fit foundation it smells just like that got a very hydrating feel to it but i wonder if it's gonna dry it's got very nice coverage like straight away i wonder if i add another layer what it would look like ultimately though it looks really nice on my skin and it blends really easily with the brush i just feel like i could have more coverage in this area over here that's all i'm glad to see though that it does also have a yellow undertone because that would have freaked me out if it didn't have a yellow undertone because i can't do pink undertones and i know essence is very famous for only making pink undertones so now i'm going to take more and i'm going to blend the other side with a sponge i feel like if it wears really well this is a very nice size foundation for traveling because i feel like if you compare it to like other size foundations like this takes up a lot of space and it's really heavy and this is like super small and also the this is 30 mils and this is also 30 mils so it's actually the same amount of product obviously this has just got bigger packaging so I'm gonna dot this all over my face and I'm just gonna blend this in okay I do feel that it works better with a beauty blender like only because it gives more coverage than the brush so that is why I would prefer probably to use a beauty blender with this it has dried a little bit on the side which is nice because it comes out very runny and I see that it seems to dry very nicely. So I'm going to go in with the concealer now that I know is going to ruin my whole entire life. Because it dries like super dark and super pink. Like I hate it. I like this foundation but at the same time I feel like I don't look healthy. Like I look pale but I got such a dark shade. Do I also look like I don't know maybe it's just on camera or in real life. I look pink like it, it does after all it does have a pink undertone. Like I'm noticing now it's drying very pink. It just looks like dull. So now I'm going to go in with the Essence Mattifying Compact Powder and I'm just going to set my whole entire face mostly my under eyes. 
This is a very nice powder though, I must say, like I enjoy this powder. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go apply my bronzer off camera because I don't have an Essence bronzer. Okay, so that's bronzer done. Now I'm just gonna go in with some highlighter and I'm using the Essence Glow To Go. I already love this highlighter, it's really stunning. And I'm just gonna match it up with the cheek and contour brush from Essence. I got this in a Christmas mystery box last year. And I'm just gonna apply this to my cheeks. I really like this highlighter. It's really like it looks wet, but it's not. And it like blends so nicely in with the skin. That's one of my favorites. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my finger into the bronzer like this and I'm just going to apply this in the inner corners just to highlight there and then also the tip of my nose. And then another little touch that I want to add onto my brows is a brow gel. And I've got two different ones from Essence. I've got this brown one, the Make Me Brow, and then I've got this Essence Lash and Brow Gel. I personally prefer this one. It's just, it holds it longer and it just makes it look more like bushy and full. So I'm going to be going in. Actually, let me go half half. I'll do this side with this one and this side with that one. it just gives them this super fluffy full look i really love it so now i'm just gonna grab the make me brow and this one has got like these little fine fibers through it and i'm just gonna brush my brows up with this These are faves of mine. I've re-bought these a million times. Like, I really love them so much. So, I highly recommend these. For setting spray, we are going in with the Essence Go To Glow. I've had struggles with this plenty of times. I don't like the way it sprays. So I'm just going to shake this. And I'm just going to get a few more sprays just to get the nozzle ready for my face. And I'm just going to spray this all over my face. And I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just blend out all of these dots that have been left on my face. I think that's why I don't really like it because it makes it more of a mission. But it looks really nice, like overall on the skin. So for lips today, I'm going to go in and hydrate my lips with the Essence Smoothie Gloss. This is the Sweet Peach one and this smells so good and it also hydrates your lips so well. And then I'm going to go in with the Essence Color Boost Mad About Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is actually a really underrated liquid lipstick. Like, I really like it. And they have, like, such nice shades as well, which is awesome. And I've personally got the shade 03 Wanna Play. And I really like this because it goes on, like, really, like, easy to apply. And then it dries down, like, only after a little while. So that you can, like, play around with it and make sure that it's in the right places before it dries. This is the finished makeup look. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below what other brands you would like a full face of. Also, bear in mind that down below I've got a, quite a few discount codes for you guys to use online on different stores. And then also all my social medias are linked down below. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram. And thank you just so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!